Hey guys, so um, I'm here to do an update for you. Um, sorry it's been so long. Uh, I could get into why I haven't been able to up upload anything, but it just ha it came down to some issues with my computer, which is actually new. Um, but I didn't put a when I got the computer, I didn't or laptop, I didn't put a um, like a spam thing on it and so I think it just I don't know something happened that with that but um, it's all fixed now and um, I actually have made about two or three videos that I decided I'm not gonna put up because they're kind of depressing and I didn't really want to um, after watching them I just thought I'm gonna make a an update video and just kind of include everything in this one video so that you guys can see what, what's been going on. Um, the last time I updated, I think I was letting you guys know that I hadn't started my period yet and I still actually haven't started, which is crazy because um, my last period was um, June 30th was the first day of my last period. So I should have already had two by now and it should be actually coming up on my third period the end of September um, at the end of this month so yeah no period um, the last day I took a pregnancy test was on um, 18 or 19, 18 days past ovulation and um, it was negative, and I know a couple people said, well, maybe, just, you know, wait a little longer, maybe you just ovulated late, but the, the, re, the, thing, the thing is that why I don't think I could have, even if I ovulated late, it wouldn't matter for me because when we tried, we actually tried, we didn't try on the day I ovulated, um, we tried about, I think the... Let's see. We, I think if I knew when I ovulated, if it was correct, um, because I actually just went off of, I didn't go off of um, like ovulation uh, urine strips or anything. I went off of uh, the calendar and when it said, and then I also went off of um, a CM. So, uh, yeah, I didn't do any charting or temp temping or anything like that. So, anyways, those, those, um, Everything or those tests were all negative, and I try. We tried about five days, you know, six days before I ovulated, five days before, four days, and possibly three days before. So if I did ovulate late, um, I know that usually, like the longest of days before that you can get pregnant before you um, ovulate, if it they don't die off the sperm, they are. I think the longest has been like six days, maybe seven if they're really healthy. But um, that's kind of long for, um, I think that's kind of long lifespan for them. So I figured that even if I did ovulate late, it wasn't um, going to be positive. So yeah, so I haven't started. Um, and I've been kind of frustrated with it. A lot of my other videos were kind of down, downer videos because... I was just not understanding why I haven't started my period. The, the worst thing that can happen, I think, for someone who's um, TT saying is when you get a negative, a negative on your pregnancy test, and then you don't start your period afterwards because that's another month that you don't, that passes, that you don't have to try with another cycle. So... I've been really frustrated and venting a lot to my husband, you know, like, okay, it's been, I could have tried four times already, you know, four different cycles if my periods were regular. And that's been like the really frustrating thing with me is, and normally at the most, my periods, like the longest it's been in between since I've had my son, um, when I had him, I act, they actually got more regular. And by regular, I, I mean like, regular for me, not for necessarily a normal 28 day cycle regular, but mine would be between 35 to 45 days at most late. And it was usually around 35 days. Um, 
And then before this last time that we tried, I think I'd mentioned in another video that I, I went about, uh, I skipped a month and then I started. Well, this time, that was the last period I had before the June period. So now it's been June, July, August, and we're in September. So I haven't had one since June 30th, and it was only, it was a light one, so that one was only like three-ish days and then some spotting. So, yeah, so anyways, the hard part about not starting is not being able to try again the next month, and that's been, I've been in kind of like a little, you know, depressed mode. My husband says I've been kind of grouchy and moody, um, and so... And I know that um, I know that stress can postpone it, postpone a period. But what I found is when I've been stressed, it usually doesn't skip more than a month. When you're stressed, it just kind of prolongs when you're going to start, um, but not for this long. So this is kind of nuts. Um, I did make an appointment for tomorrow to. Um, get myself checked out and everything, but I might cancel it now until like a week or two from now, and this is why. So, um, for the fun of it, I had these ovulation tests that I didn't even know I had. I bought them like a while ago, and I forgot that I didn't use them all. So there's seven tests in here. Um, it's the, I, this is probably showing it backwards, but it's the clear blue... Um, easy digital ovulation so it reads um, you know a circle or a smiley face so it's pretty like it um, recognizes the LH hormone and or the luteinizing hormone and um, yeah so that is what uh, this does I don't know why I'm taking so long to explain that sorry so I guess um, I know that I, I, I knew that I wasn't going to ovulate, but um, because you feel like, I just felt like I didn't really have any control of my um, cycles or when I ovulated and I was feeling kind of depressed. And so for the heck of it, I don't know why, I guess to make you feel like you're still like in the loop of trying to conceive, I was like, well, I have five of these left. I'll just take them. So like two weeks ago, I started taking these tests like I was just trying to use them up I guess it wasn't really it was just kind of more for the fun of it I mean I had no idea really why I did this because I didn't think I would ovulate but this is how all of them came out the four that I took over the week so as you can see they are they all have like light line which most ovulation tests do have them but you want them to be the same color and on this they go they snap into here like this and then um, it shows when the test is ready obviously this isn't going to work because it's used but it'll start blinking and then after like three minutes it'll bring up um, the circle if you're not and the smiley face if you are so in all of these it brought up the circle and I was like staring at it like I was taking a pregnancy test but I don't know why these things are just exciting to do, I guess. Um, anything with having to do with um, trying to conceive or uh, just something that feels similar than taking a pregnancy test, it's just exciting. I don't know why I like it, but anyways, I guess that's why I was taking the ovulation test. So I started kind of getting these mild, I, I wouldn't even call them cramps. I just felt this weird feeling in my stomach like a few days after I took all those and um, I thought I had taken all of these and then uh, we actually went to a cabin this last weekend and I was feeling these like mild I don't, I don't even know if they're cramping but it, I guess it was like something that would like lead up to how cramping feels so I'm like getting so excited that I'm going to start my period um, which is kind of crazy. I was telling my husband it's so weird because most people don't want to start their period. And then for someone who's in my situation, I'm, I'm like super excited to start my period. So 
because I know that that's, I knew I wasn't pregnant and I know that that's one more um, opportunity after that that I can, you know, buy new ovulation test strips and I can start taking them and try to find when I'm ovulating so that I can, we can try again this month. So um, I was filling them all weekend and then uh, I, hadn't, I hadn't started. So then Sunday I came home and um, we got home late Sunday night and I went to the, I was going to the restroom before um, we were going to bed and I saw that there was another packet on um, the counter and I, I felt it because I thought it was just an empty little baggie and I guess one of the strips fell out of the clear blue box and I didn't use that one. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just use this and see. Um, I don't know. I just, I used it. I wasn't even looking for ovulation. I just used the test. And then I just like to read the result, I guess. So um, I stuck it in and then I um, went to the restroom. I was brushing my teeth and then I kind of like glanced down and then I looked at it again and there was a smiley face on here and I was like what that is that can't be possible that's just not possible because you can't ovulate when you haven't had a period for three months um, and so I was like I wonder if that um, I wonder if that cramping or mild feeling I was having in my simic was like me telling me or my body telling me that I'm ovulating so, um, I didn't believe it. I just thought it was reading it wrong. And the cool thing about these, which I didn't even know this uh, before, was when you, I always just thought it, you could read it from here. I never really paid attention to the lines that you can get on, um, why is that showing up there? You can see the light line. The lines that you get um, on the actual strips. So I was like yelling to my husband like, oh my gosh, there's a smiley face on here. And I was like, you would, with how excited I was, you would have thought that it was like a positive pregnancy test. That's how excited I was that I was ovulating because it just couldn't be true. So then I like looked up on my phone um, on the internet, just like, can you ovulate? And something said that you can, and something says that is very rare. So anyways, um, I just couldn't stop staring at the smiley face and I was like telling my husband, oh, we have to try, we have to try because it says I'm ovulating and he's like, but you haven't had, he knows everything about this because of, um, as any like trying to conceive couple would know, the husband knows a lot too because he has to listen to his wife talk about all this stuff and he's in, you know, in it, uh, in the long run, in the long run with you too. So anyways, I popped this out. And I looked at it, and this has been, uh, this was on Sunday, and it's Tuesday now, so it's been like a couple days. But look at, um, look at the lines on there. It's hard to even tell, but on my side, they're like really dark blue, and they're the exact same color. So, um, oh, I wish it, I wish that you could see the lines. I think you can kind of see, there, that's a better angle. Anyways, they're both like bright blue. And right now they're a little faded, but they were like bright, 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 dark line blue, like the box on this box. It was like crazy blue. So it was, my husband, I think I was going to sleep later. He was already in bed. Um, like a, he was already pretty much asleep. So, uh, and he has this like routine, like once he's in bed, he has a hard time going to sleep, and so I couldn't help myself, so I had to wake him up, and I was like, you need to wake up right now. We have to, like, we have to try. He's like, you can't be off. And I'm like, there's a smiley face, and there's two dark lines. So, yeah, I pretty much woke him up and said, we have to do this right now. <laughs> so, um, that was Sunday, so we tried Sunday, and then uh, I didn't have any more tests. And I didn't know if, I know it tells the best two days that you can conceive. Um, so if it was correct and if I was actually ovulating, um, then I don't know if that was the second best day. So these days of trying wouldn't count. I don't know. So anyways, we tried Sunday. We tried last night. And sorry this if this is... <laughs> um, 
TMI, but um, yeah, we tried Sunday last night, and I want to try again tonight, and then I think that will be good. I think, well, that that's my best shot is three nights. Hopefully, usually I would ovulate, or I would try like the whole week before, and then while I'm um, ovulating, but I didn't know when this started, so we're just trying Sunday through uh, tonight. And crossing our fingers that I'm actually ovulating. So, yeah, so my test showed a positive for ovulating, and I can't believe it. Um, so I don't know whether I want to go to the doctor tomorrow. I kind of don't want to. I kind of want to just, like, because I still have that mild um, cramping feeling. So in the back of my mind, I'm wondering if I'm going to start my period. I was kind of thinking I needed to cancel this appointment any, anyways this weekend because I was like, I'm not going to go. You can't go to the doctor when you're on your period for something like this anyways. For a checkup like this, you can't be on your period. So um, I was going to cancel it anyway. So I think I might postpone it and just wait for like, you know, two weeks and see what happens. I don't know. This is just really crazy and it's been so long since I've had my period, you guys, since June 30th. I, I just, I don't know. I told, and my husband, when I told him about it, he was like, no, he's like, I'm already in bed. Let's just um, wait till tomorrow. And I'm like, no, you have to get up now. And I was like, pretty much like, begging him, please get out of bed, you know, even though he was, like, exhausted, and we drove a, drove a couple hours from the cabin, and unpacked everything, we are both, like, really tired, but I really didn't care, <laughs> so he was a trooper, and he, um, you know, woke up for me and everything, so, yeah, so that's what's going on, um, I'm sorry that this video was forever long, I just wanted to, um, kind of tell you guys what's been going on, and, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. Uh, so, what do you guys think? Do you know anybody this has happened to? Or have you had this happen to you? Um, yeah, I'm just really confused on this whole thing. What if, I mean, I still feel those weird feelings in my stomach, and I keep thinking, this can't, this couldn't have been real. I couldn't have been really ovulating. But I guess, I mean, I guess it's possible because these lines are two dark blue lines. Um, yeah, so you can clearly see that. So I'm really hoping. Now I'm like, I wish I was temping and all this stuff so I could see the numbers going up. But um, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. And hopefully I will be able to update you guys soon. And... I don't know. I guess I'm in the two-week wait now? I don't know. This is just crazy. I was just in the two-week wait and waiting for my period, so I'm sorry that I'm rambling that over and over again, but I'm kind of just, like, in a weird, like, I don't know. This is just strange. So let me know if you guys um, know anybody who this has happened to or what you think on all of this, because this is just crazy. Um, anyways, good luck to all you guys that are trying or in your two-week wait or, um, you know, in that time where you're trying to figure out if you should test today or tomorrow and it's, you know, the day that you're supposed to start your period and, um, good luck to all of you guys. I wish you all lots of luck and prayers and baby dust and I will talk to you guys soon.